This is the 92nd day in the Hamas Israel war, and I'm Yair Pinto reporting to you from the Gaza Strip. Gaza is a huge amusement park for terrorists, and for months now, every morning when we go out to fight in Gaza, I ask myself, what will I see today? How will Hamas surprise me? And yet, every day, I am shocked because how is it possible to take the lives we received from God and simply turn it into a hell on earth? How can you dedicate the gift of life to hatred? How can someone devote his life and the life of his children to a murderous Islamic ideology? Such a belief creates a dark world like Hamas created. A world without a future, without hope, without love. A world I would not wish on anyone. In Gaza, even the hotels have terror tunnels. A real concept of vacation, huh? In the northern part of the Gaza Strip, near the seashore, the combat team of the 14th Brigade raided the Blue Beach Hotel. And alongside the fighters of the Alam unit, were dozens of Hamas terrorists that barricaded themselves inside the hotel and fired several anti-tank missiles at the IDF forces who returned fire. The forces encountered the terrorists and eliminated some of them. During the raid, a terrorist infrastructure of the Hamas organization was found, which included several shafts leading to tunnels and inside them were living rooms of Hamas terrorists. They used the hotels for shelter from which they waged war and planned attacks above and below the ground. Literally, five-star luxury terror conditions. Many weapons were found in the underground infrastructure under the hotel, including AK-47s, a variety of explosives, and drones. Fighters of the 414th Battalion were operating in the El Burij camp. During the operation, an armed terror squad tried to attack a tank, and the fighters began chasing the squad in a residential urban area. A drone of the force followed the squad, and after certain identification of the terrorists, the fighters directed an Air Force fighter jet, which attacked the building where the squad was entrenched in and eliminated the terrorists. In the Khan Yunis area, the fighters of Battle Team 4 located a number of launch positions from which launches were made towards Israeli territory. The fighters destroyed the launching positions and during several clashes in the area, they neutralized dozens of terrorists. In the Towers neighborhood, in the center of the Gaza Strip, an operation by the 646th combat team was completed this week. The neighborhood consisted of tall buildings that dominate the area and is used as a terrorist infrastructure for the terror organization Hamas. The buildings in the neighborhood were used as anti-tank and anti-aircraft firing positions on our forces and rocket launchers armed and ready to fire, trap buildings, shafts and many charges were found in there. Like everything in Gaza, Hamas managed to turn this place into an amusement park for terrorists. The fighters of the combat team conducted battles with the terrorists found inside the compound, eliminated them and located and destroyed many shafts leading to terror tunnels. In the vicinity of the complex, there is a warehouse and a chemical laboratory that is used by Hamas for the production of weapons. The forces also found terrorists with severe body burns. After investigation, it appears as if a chemical explosive device the terrorists tried to throw at the troops exploded in his hands. In engineering operations and airstrikes, the forces of the brigade and the air force destroyed explosives 
rigged buildings, observation posts, and underground shafts. During the operation, the fighters of the brigade located many weapons, sniper weapons, RPG launchers, AK-47s, pistols, and rifles. In the village of Khalkhul in Judea and Samaria, this is the front against Palestinian terror elements in the heart of Israel. A reserve unit of the IDF, including the Shin Bet and the border police forces, confiscated equipment from a printing house that printed inflammatory materials for the terrorist organization Hamas and coloring books for children with terrorists who kill Jewish children. In the city of Hebron, in Judea and Samaria, the forces arrested a wanted man and also confiscated explosive charges, Molotov cocktails, and a drone. In Israel's northern front against Hezbollah in Lebanon, an Air Force fighter jet attacked operational headquarters of the terrorist organization Hezbollah in the area of the village of Lida in southern Lebanon earlier today. Also, the IDF conducted several attacks in the areas of Lebanon from the morning hours with tank fire and artillery fire. In addition, a number of launches were detected earlier today from the territory of Lebanon towards the territory of the State of Israel, and the IDF responded by attacking the sources of the fire. I want to pray for the good souls, the heroes of the IDF that lost their lives in this war, in this war against Hamas terrorists, in this war in Lebanon against Hezbollah, in this war in the West Bank against Palestinian terrorists. All of these enemies have one thing in common. They all seek to annihilate Israel and the Jewish people. This is a spirit that comes from evil. This is a spiritual war. There is no other explanation for so many people to hate such a small nation such as Israel. So how do you fight a spiritual war? You fight it spiritually, by praying, by asking God to intervene. He's the only one that can help us. So please join us in prayer. Pray for the idea of soldiers, Pray for the families of the fallen soldiers and pray for the peace of Jerusalem.